Well, we've thought long and hard about the decision about changing power unit supply for the 2019 and 2020 seasons. We've enjoyed a long and successful relationship with, uh, with Renault, culminating in eight world championships, over 150 podiums. Um, but we've decided that the time is right to make that next step in our journey as Red Bull Racing and move to a new uh, power unit supplier in Honda. We've had the privilege of seeing how they've progressed this year and uh, reached the conclusion that purely uh, for, for technical, technically driven reasons that this is the right move for the future of Aston Martin Red Bull Racing. Our determination as a team is to keep closing the gap to our immediate competitors and uh, we've been trying to do that over the last couple of years and of course the power unit is a, a vital element you know within a Formula One car and we're confident that Honda have the right infrastructure, the right resources, the right techni technical capacity and determination to uh, help us in our quest to reduce the gap to uh, the, the teams ahead of us in Ferrari and Mercedes. Uh, well, we've been in a privileged position to have a front row seat this year to monitor the progress of how Honda have been getting on in our sister team at Toro Rosso um, versus obviously our own power supply. And uh, it's been great to see, see that progress and um, we've got, come to the conclusion that you know, Honda are making you know, good strides, good progress on both performance and reliability and therefore have made the difficult decision um, to change power units after 12 seasons to something new for 2019 onwards. Well, we, we decided that based on the information that we have for Montreal, our decision driven by engineering was, was pretty clear cut in the end. And so we felt that rather than, than um, things getting delayed or, or taking further time, Renault were also very interested to have a decision as soon as possible to get their own plans in place. So therefore we've decided that the timing is right to uh, make that commitment, make that decision and uh, hence the announcement today. Now we're very much focused on, on the 2018 World Championship. We have an outside chance in both championships. We've won two Grand Prix so far this year. We're third in the Constructors' Championship and there's a long way to go. So we're going to be pushing all the way to the finish and uh, going to be relying on our uh, on support from Renault to the end of the year, which I'm sure they will give unwaveringly as they have done during our previous uh, 11 seasons. And uh, yes, our priority is to continue our competitive streak in this year's championship. Well, I think that the relationship with Toro Rosso has been extremely useful to Honda. Of course, Red Bull Technology um, have an involvement with Toro Rosso through the supply of transmissions and so on. So, of course, there are synergies there and it only helps create further synergies between the two teams by having both powered by the same power unit. So, uh, yes, there are definite benefits from, from common supply, both for Honda and for, for Red Bull's activities in Formula One. Well, the partnership with Renault started off with Flavio Briatore, um, who was managing both the engine and team sides at, uh, at the side. So uh, uh, it was, uh, you know, thanks to him that he agreed uh, and got the sign off from Carlos Ghosn to give us a Renault engine back in time for the 2007 season. And then as things progressed, by the time we got to 2009, we won our first Grand Prix with Renault. Um, and in fact, all of our podiums, all of our victories, bar one podium, um, have been with, with Renault Power um, and that's 150 odd podiums over 50 Grand Prix victories um, and it's been an incredibly successful you know period for the team particularly in the V8 era um, but uh, you know things always come to an end and it's, it's time in our journey to now take a different route and we wish Renault all the very best for the future and look forward to working with new colleagues at Honda from the beginning of 2019.